Hello. Today I have been playing Nest, which is Jonathan Whiting's entry into the um, Ludum Dare 37 competition, uh, which was themed around the idea of one room. And so at the moment you'll see it's pretty simple. Um, you are just in one room, you are navigating using the arrow keys or WASD and then you get to the arrow pad and you see that there is a whole other room, well the same room with a different colourway and you start controlling your character once removed with these arrow pads and you it's still relatively straightforward but then you start thinking or I started suddenly thinking hang on a moment I see why it's called nest and it's because you will guide your character or you know whatever the avatar actually is to this new arrow pad further into the experience and then suddenly all of your controls are twice removed or rather the one that you're actively guiding at the moment is one is twice removed and the one that is in between is once removed and so you sort of have to start thinking a lot more about the movements that you're making so to go forwards you have to start incorporating the back button because otherwise the the purple level i guess of of the avatar is too far forward you have to bring it back so that it can step onto the forward pad again if that makes sense and so what i'm doing right now is trying to guide it around these corners which are obviously so straightforward when it's just the initial sort of teal level of control and then kind of still really straightforward when you get to purple and then pink is where things start to get tricky um, and then at this point I was very <laughs> aware <laughs> that um, when I hit the pink level of arrow pads yeah that's gonna be that'll be an interesting one so I think it's a really neat experience actually because um, at first I was just kind of oh okay this is a thing it's really straightforward to control I am you know I'm racing through it I'm a genius um, and then as soon as you see what the game actually does, you're like, oh no, my hubris, <laughs> it's come back to bite me. Um, so yeah, and you sort of, I would, I get into these kind of rhythms of, you know, forward, backwards, um, you know, back again, forwards again, and then I would like suddenly think, hang on, hang on, I've got a step wrong and now I'm far too far forwards. This is actually like my um, third run through, so, or not run through because there's no real end point, but um, this, I, I enjoyed having a smoother experience at first and sort of getting to grips with the rhythms of it rather than just slogging through and I thought that might be more interesting for you guys to watch, so hence Oh good lord. Uh heads coming to it again and re recording. <laughs> There's essentially when when I was playing initially I was up at the red level um and everything was just such a slog and it was so confusing and talking while doing it was impossible because it was Oh my god, I have to reorient my thinking every few seconds. Um, but yeah, like hopefully you can see how it starts to nest up because you have to pay real close attention to 
I'm just going to get to this red corner and try and turn and then hopefully you can kind of get a feel for how complex it gets quite quickly. So I need to turn the purple side around and move that forwards to then turn the pink level. So I go back and then face this to then, yeah, to then go forwards to turn the red level but I need to get the purple one back off into the center. Hang on. Have I gone? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, you need to go backwards. <laughs> like, see, this is where it went wrong, I think. Because when I was recording, I can't record this and talk at the same time. You see, this is recorded afterwards, um, the voice part. So yeah, that's where I went wrong. I'm like annoyed with myself now because I'm like, I can see it so clearly. <laughs> but yeah, so I kind of had to sort of fix this by bodging it a bit, which kind of annoyed me because I was like, no, it was so neat up until now. But you can kind of see how it goes. At least. <laughs> it's so neat. Yeah, so yeah, I've managed to get it back to like normal. If I, it, you know, if you turn right, if you turn the pink one right, and then step backwards, you're back in the middle of the of the pad. Good lord, <laughs> it's such a kerfuffle, <laughs> but it's so smart and so cool. <laughs> But yeah, and it's free to play as well, so I'll put a link in the YouTube thing. <laughs>